Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Another video about electrical skateboards. On my channel, got quite a few videos already. Builds, reviews, uh, DIY, parts lists, uh, batteries, charges, remotes, uh, and so long and so forth. So take a look if you are interested. Or if you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I will always answer. So today's video is going to be about one of the most important parts of electrical skateboard which is a battery. This is the second video in this uh, path talking about batteries kind of videos. Uh, first one was about correct storage of LiPo batteries or at least better storage of LiPo batteries and awareness. So take a look. So let's talk about differences between using a LiPo battery pack something like this Tenergy here full reviews on my channel or 18650 uh, pack which is a set of 18650 cells connected all together in series and parallel to make a pack that you require for your board for starters couple of interesting facts do you know why lipo is called a lipo lipo stands for lithium iron polymer battery so this is this big beast right here i'm holding 6s battery 8000 milliamp quite large 18650s different manufacturers different colors different uh, specifications but 18650 if you didn't know actually means very very simple thing it's actual physical size so 18 for the diameter and 650 for the length as simple as that so what is the uh, difference between using the 18650 battery pack or the lipo pack obviously they got common things both of them need to be treated with respect both of them cannot be overcharged or over discharged or over abused because otherwise they are going to create a mess spark up and burn a house down or your board as a as a minimum i do use both lipo batteries and also 18650 packs on my diy boards but i got quite a few so to me and this guys this is only for me yeah this is only my opinion i don't think there is a bible out there that actually tells you this is right this is wrong Everyone got their own opinions, and to people who are interested in my opinion, respect my opinion, here we go. I believe that LiPo batteries are actually better for you. They are a bit more pain in the butt to look after, because LiPo batteries cannot be just stored in a box or away on a shelf without any maintenance. They need to be stored uh, on a uh, storage charge which is a certain voltage they need to be checked every three to four weeks making sure that the cells are not dropping out uh, recharging them again don't store them fully charged because that will affect your uh, battery life definitely 18650 is a bit more forgiving uh, you can kind of discharge a bit more than a lipo uh, you kind of charge it charge it up with a uh, pre-made a charger something like this normally it comes with the pre-built boards or can be purchased uh, in line with your requirements which, which is uh, uh, the amperage and also the uh, voltage of the pack and that should stop uh, automatically charging it when it gets full um, LiPo battery does not require a BMS well it's good to have it but you don't really have to you do use a smart lipo charger which looks something like uh let me show you straight away something like this and at the moment i've got my batteries charging this is the cheapest one you can buy uh well i can recommend it if you constantly like watch over it but it's not the best one to use but anyway this is the uh automatic uh lipo battery charger compared to a uh, standard uh, charger for your 18650 uh, pack 
but I'm holding my hand is the 6S 8000 milliamp battery right here. So two of these will make you a 12S 8000 milliamp. In order to replicate this LiPo battery, or two of them, you will roughly need 60 of 1850s. So let's run through what is same and different about using 18650 or the LiPos. So, 18650 packs are a bit more forgiving. You can kind of discharge them a little bit more than the LiPos. 18650 packs, you can store them uh, kind of 30-40% charged. Again guys, this is uh, only my opinion. There's a lot of opinions on how to store this battery, so read up, it's up to you. But, I normally store my packs at about 30-40%, put them away, they sit on the shelf. 18650 packs are a bit more uh, versatile or flexible on the shape of them. Meaning that you can actually configure your battery uh, to the enclosure you're trying to use. However, LiPo batteries just come in a certain brick shape and, well, pretty much that's it. Unless you want to go for uh, tons of little ones, but then it makes no sense. Just get 18, 18650. Um, LiPo batteries are better because, in my opinion, they have very little or no sag. You know the nasty feeling when you are on your board, uh, when you are using 18650 pack, and about 30-40% into the right uh, or into the battery, all of a sudden your board doesn't respond as it was when it's 100% charged. That's a battery sag. 18650 packs suffer from that. LiPo batteries, however, do not. You pretty much get all the way to 3.7 volt with the same torque, with the same speed, with the same response. So that is positive. Another thing positive about LiPo batteries is that they are removable. Normally people don't fix them batteries into your board, into your deck, into your enclosure. They're normally positioned in like a uh, box or cage looking thing on the top of your deck where you take them out after you ride and put them on the charge. You can look at it as positive or as negative. Positive is that you can actually take the batteries out of your board, make your board safe, leave your board in a garage, and the only thing you have to make safe are the LiPo batteries. You can take them outside, leave them in the garage, or leave them in the garden, or in your shed, away from your house if you're not confident that these are safe. 18650 packs, however, are fixed to your board. So you have to actually take the whole board outside for it to be just in case if she wants to be naughty. Another thing that I do not like much about LiPo batteries is that the enclosures are really ugly. It's just a big box. Look at tramper boards. Beautiful, beautiful boards. But that suitcase thing on the top of the deck, ugh, it just makes it look so horrible. 18650 packs, however, especially or if you use a flexible uh, enclosure like uh, this enclosure for my new DIY over here is absolutely gorgeous looking thing so it's nice what else can I say about the 18650s or the LiPos it's like people who like the wine or like people who like uh, whiskey. It's absolutely your choice. To finish off the video guys, I will uh, repeat myself. Both batteries, LiPos, 18650s or any other uh, packs made out of cells need respect, maintenance, treatment, being looking up, looked after or they will create your problems. LiPo battery for any board that you are okay with having uh, strange methods of having it on your board, meaning like a top deck, uh, top of the deck mounted uh, enclosures. Uh, if we want something nice and neat, 18650s. But again, LiPo comes out and can be made safe. 18650 stays on your board.
so pretty much this is where the video comes to an end just a little bit of a uh, information about two different types of batteries that are commonly used on electrical skateboards i like them both hopefully you guys you like this video hopefully it will be helpful for you to kind of get an idea what you're gonna what you want to go for by the way sorry let me just uh cover the cost so a decent um cell 18650 cell make sure you don't uh, fall into a trap buying uh, cheap ones on eBay because most likely they will be grade B you want grade A and they could be fake they could be rebranded they could be re labeled and you get yourself battery that doesn't actually do what you should be doing so for a good quality uh, cell uh, or battery like this uh, you probably about to pay about four pounds each I'm considering right now a Samsung 30Qs as being a market leading uh, cell and normally people use them uh, you will need about 60 of these to make 12S 5P uh, battery a good LiPo battery like this graphene uh, energy battery pack here is 90 pounds so you will need two of these that's 180 so comparing 180 pounds to 60 times 4 pounds, which is 240. You're saving about 60, 80 pounds. Again, depends where you buy it from. But in order to make a pack out of this, you need BMS, you need cables, you need uh, metal strips, you need soldering irons, you need uh, uh, the welder to actually put them all together. LiPo batteries, just an adapter, a serious adapter like this, and off you go. So here we go. That's it, guys. Sorry, dragged on a bit longer, but I don't have like a script when I do my videos. I just say what I got in my mind, and sometimes stuff just pops up in, in my memory, and I spill it out. That's it for this video. Like, subscribe, uh, hit that little bell, and also. Ride safely and charge safely. See you soon.